I mean, Tenma Tara, I saw just a little seconds. The little red had big goals. I've seen it when she came into the fall. Yay. So that's it. I'm gonna have to present this. Objection. Oh, that's not it? Consider the evidence there's obviously something wrong uh, with uh, with that statement. That's not it? Your gals knows no bounds. It's shocking, really. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, seriously, what's that supposed to mean? You stand there, uh, brazenly objecting to perfectly factual statements. How is it factual, though? She went into the foyer. And the uh, contradiction here is that she's not... Uh, she was not present in the camera. That's why. One does not see such shameless behavior than, uh, that often. A penalty for our shameless attorney. Oh, okay. Oh no, it looks like Blackwell is turning uh, the judge against me. <laughs> so... Isn't that the idea here? Is that, oh, she went into the foyer. But no! How do you prove, like, we, pr we can prove that she didn't uh, get even close there. Because uh, we would have seen her in the, ca in the camera. Uh, what can I do? I think this is, uh, th this also, there's some sort of a contradiction here. Which is, uh... Because, uh, y you know, the idea, uh, well, I guess that also makes sense. Because the idea that she... Uh, the crime has been committed, and after that, uh, uh after that, uh, Damien uh, swallowed up the, uh, the key. So, and it's the only key that, uh, uh that, uh... That opens that door, and there's no uh, copies of it, and that's it. Which I think that her not being present in the footage is, since he is claiming that she is not there, is uh, is it? I mean, the goal objective here is to try and prove. We already know that. We already know that he is lying, and as. Uh, as the defense here, we're going to try to prove that his testimony is uh, uh, full of shit. And this this is how we can prove it. Like, uh, hey, you're cl you're claiming that she was uh, in the foyer. Why is it why is she not in the camera? And that's how things go. Well, I guess. Sure. Sure. We didn't pr we couldn't prove. I don't think we ever uh, like, how the hell does that, uh, can we even, like, uh, we cannot prove that th it's going to be the, uh, that this key is the only key that's going to open that. We cannot prove that. We can definitely, we 100% we cannot prove that there is uh, only uh, a single copy of this key. We cannot prove it at all. Like, we can d deduce that it's the only key, but we cannot prove that, uh, that it's it's the only key the, that we have. We cannot prove that it's the only key that exists. So it's easier for us to, to, to just prove that uh, Jinxie wasn't uh, in the foyer because she, we don't have the footage for her in the camera. That's easier. That makes more sense than actually... Uh, claim that oh, there's only a single key in uh, for the for the forbidden chamber. How can we prove that if that's the case? I don't know. Whatever. It would seem that Ten Mataro was in fact not this innocent, uh, not that innocent little girl. Huh? How you figure that? You claim that Ten Mataro you saw had one of those uh, staves. From the Forbidden Chamber. But it would have been impossible for Miss Tenma to get a hold of one. Care to elaborate, Mr. Justice? The mayor swallowed this key shortly after the murder. I would really... I would... Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if... <laughs> 
<laughs> the game uh, or uh, or Blackwell is gonna pull out, pull out that oh there's actually another key and whatever that uh, that uh, uh, that Fulbright actually found and uh, he disclosed from anyone else you know or at least he disclosed it uh, from the uh, defense. The mayor swallowed this key shortly after the murder. He wanted to keep the killer out of the forbidden chamber. What's this? This key was deep in the mayor's stomach when Miss Tenma discovered the crime scene. Oh, he doesn't know about that? Okay. So you see, it would have been impossible for her to get into the forbidden chamber. In short, the Tenma Tower scene holding that staff couldn't have been Jinxie Tenma. What? <laughs> He's standing on a box. <laughs> I've never noticed that at all. I've never noticed that. <laughs> but then, who does the defense believe was impersonating Tenma Taro? Uh, if we're gonna claim it's gonna be LaBelle, uh, it's gonna be easy to prove that since uh, we do have the uh, the cream that was that we found in the Forbidden Chamber. Yep. Our Jackson. I couldn't read that. The game definitely skipped that. Damn. Uh, the bird uh, freaked out. Our Tenma Tower impersonator is none other than Mayor Tenma's aide. Objection! Such accusations beg evidence. Aside from his ghastly appearance, <laughs> yeah, can you prove he is the yokai we seek? Yes, in fact, I can. Hmm. Very well. Let's see where the defense is going with this. Mr. Justice, please show us the proof as to the true identity of the Tenma Tower impersonator. It's gonna be his cream. We found this hand cream in the Forbidden Chamber. Every time I I hear this uh, soundtrack, viewers, I gotta be honest, I kinda wanna go back and play Apollo Justice. Apollo Justice had really good uh, soundtracks, by the way. Uh, a lot of people didn't like it, uh, the game in general, but I think the game was, uh, I think the game was fine. I, as I said, uh, this is something that I think, I don't know, I don't know how many times I said this before, but, uh, I'm fine with actually playing, uh, going back to the Ace Attorney games and playing them uh, on the channel, uh, in the future. Well, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see about that. And we know that uh, whoever was uh, Ten Mataro took one of the staves out of there. In short, I believe whoever uh, I believe whoever this hand cream belongs to is the yokai impersonator we're looking for. Hmm. But Mr. Justice, how do you propose to identify the hand cream's owner? I'm glad you asked, Your, your Honor. The defense requests a fingerprint analysis on this piece of evidence. It might tell us uh, who it belongs to. Interesting. So, you expect to find the yokai's uh, print there? Very well. I hereby call a short recess while we wait for the fingerprint uh, results. Oh, we're actually gonna wait. No need for that, your, your baldness. <laughs> Uh, we have the prince of everyone at the manor uh, that day. You called Prosecutor Blackwell? You know, it's actually very interesting that uh, usually in the older games, they didn't bother uh, translating some of the stuff here, uh, which uh, all of them were in uh, Japanese since, you know, the game's origin. But uh, yeah, Fulbright is here, I guess. Could anyone be more whipped? Fulbright! 
analyze this for prints. You have three minutes. Your wish is my command, Mr. Criminal. Very well then, I guess we'll just wait uh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> the bird uh, got it. That's cool. It would seem the fingerprints, uh, the fingerprint analysis is complete. Uh, what do the results show? What in the world? They're Florent Labelle's prints, aren't they? This, this is absurd. What happened to the bird? Um. Prosecutor Blackwell? I'm not going to like this, am I? Don't tell me. They're Tenmatara's prints? Fingerprint analysis has revealed that the prince belongs to... Phineas Filch! Son of a bitch! Objection. Wait, what? Then Mr. LaBelle wasn't the one who entered the Forbidden Chamber? Objection. Why, you tricky little tanuki. Explain yourself, now! Uh, sure, th them prints are mine. I mean, I did the... Uh, pill for that hand cream from Mr. LaBelle, after all. Uh, does LaBelle wear... gloves all the time? That would definitely make sense that he doesn't have... Uh, uh, prints on it. Uh, it would be a little bit, uh... It still, it would be a little bit, uh... <laughs> uh... Weird trying to actually put the, put the cream on your hand while wearing gloves. <laughs> like, you can actually pull one glove, put cream on it. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, so... So, I don't think uh, anything, uh, you, you know... Him wearing gloves is uh, has anything to do with that. This is weird. So you're the one who entered the Forbidden Chamber? So what if I did? Got a problem with that? Uh, got a problem with it? That means you're gonna be the killer. Yikes! You fool of a tanuki. Can someone stuff him in that goddamn box? Order! Order! Okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> well, that was definitely unexpected. Mr. Justice, care to explain what this could mean? Oh, it's no prince. Excellent question. Um, the fact that Mr. Filch was in the Forbidden Chamber... Uh... How are... Th we really don't know. I don't think we have an answer. Wait a second. Does this mean that Tenmataro holding that staff was... Phineas Filch? I mean, he doesn't have an alibi. Actually, we can actually like he's gonna claim that he ha that he had an alibi, and that his alibi was him being in uh, watching the uh, the what you call it, watching the uh, the show, the uh, the wrestling show. We still have that, right? We don't have that anymore. Yeah, we lost uh, that. That goddamn uh, a piece of paper, thanks, Trucy. But his alibi that he was with uh, 
label all along. So there's going to be a contradiction here. Does this mean the Tenma Tower holding that staff was Phineas Filch? Yikes! Another cat out of the bag! Oh shit! He actually admits to that? Mr. Mr. Filch is Tenma Taru? That was definitely unexpected. <laughs> An unexpected turn of, a turn of events, I gotta be honest. <laughs> I don't understand. Does this mean Mr. Felsch is the real killer? The witness will explain himself this instant. <laughs> Begging your uh, pardon, your honorship. But I was just doing uh, what, uh, what the alderman told me. What? He wanted me to be Ten Mataro in the village uh, exorcism ritual. What? Okay, so there were two uh, Ten Mataras. Okay. <gasps> what if? What if? Uh... Uh, what if uh, Nine Tails? What if the uh, the amazing Nine Tails was uh, was Damien and wasn't Rex? Huh? That would be interesting. And Filch actually knows the uh, the amazing Nine Tails' identity, huh? He wanted me to be Ten Mataro in the village exorcism ritual. Oh, you mean that event at the Nine Tails? Uh, uh, Valley Festival? So that was you inside the Tenmataru costume? Yep. And after the event, I went to watch uh, that pro wrestling program. So does that mean that the costume was inside the Forbidden Chamber? But it bored me to tears uh, on account of the wrestler being complete ja uh, uh, complete jobbers. So he didn't actually watch the entire wrestling match. Okay. That's when I looked at the Tenmataru costume and got a great idea. What? He actually wore it again? Nobody can tell if it's uh, me while I'm wearing it. And, uh, because of them superstitions, no matter what I do, the villagers won't say a word. In other words, you use the superstitions uh, to effectively render yourself invisible. Huh? Wait, he's using the goddamn costume to... to slack off or something? <laughs> is that... is that what he's using the, uh, the costume for? Why did you want to enter the Forbidden Chamber in the first place? Because of the treasure there! Thought that was a, my big chance to sneak uh, on... Uh, to sneak on... To sneak on in and nab it. Sneak on in. On in. Treasure. <laughs> Only that's, uh, that it's the greatest uh, get-rich-quick chance in the universe. Grandpappy told me all about it. Said there's an amazing treasure in there. He went in there not knowing his grandfather had already, uh... Pilf- uh, what's the word? I forgot how do you pronounce this word. Pilfered? Pilfered? Is that how you say it? Pilfered it? Guess that's one uh, tale that didn't get passed down uh, from grandpappy to grandson. So he doesn't know that. Still, at, at the very least. Wait, how exactly did you get into the Forbidden Chamber? Okay, that's actually that's actually gonna help us a lot. If he knows of, a, of another way to get inside. There was a meeting in the Fox Chamber that day. 
Plus, the mayor swallowed the only key that could open the Forbidden Chamber's door. That's from the vent. You couldn't have possibly gotten in. I cut through the air vent in the foyer. It connects, yeah. It connects the, uh... It's this particular air vent. It's not the one in the second floor. That, uh... That connects, that connects the, uh... That connects the, uh... The, uh... The fox chamber with the... With the hallway in, in, uh, in front of it. Yeah. The vents uh, uh, left uh, of the alderman's picture. I went on uh, and made uh, a nice little hole. Hole? Oh. How did you even get up there? Use that to get into the air duct uh, that leads to the forbidden chamber I did. You what? But how is that even possible? Wait a second. Remember that air vent in the Forbidden Chamber? We... Come on. Come on, Athena. You're not that dumb. I mean, you're not that cute. Are you? <laughs> so, Mr. Felsch uh, found a way to get into that air duct. And that's how he got from uh, the foyer vent to the Forbidden Chamber vent. It's still stupid. Hmm. So, Tenmataro was nothing more than a cat burglar. Or rather, a tanuki burglar. And uh, we're back at uh, being without anyone to charge for the Elderman's murder. Actually, no! He's still... He's still a criminal. He's still a... Uh, uh, now he's a... Uh, uh, the first suspect here, because, you know, it's all, everything revolves around uh, someone, someone planting the evidence. And that probably is him. And, and him trying to steal a treasure is definitely a good motive to kill someone. That's definitely a good motive. So yeah, he's pretty much the, the, <laughs> the number one suspect now here. Looks, uh, looks like our so-called yokai is nothing more than one big troublemaker. Not so big, actually. Tell me, Mr. Felsch, what did you do after fleeing the, to the foyer? I got out, out of that costume uh, right, uh, right quick. You mean real quick? Uh, would have just, uh, caught... Would have just caused trouble. Uh, would have just caught, uh, caused trouble. At that point. And where is that costume now? Heck, if I know, and it ain't my fault uh, if I, if you never find it. Uh, is he lying? Is he lying? The police searched every nook and cranny. No yokai costume was left in that manner. What if it was tossed outside the manor? <gasps> Are you shitting me? Are you motherfucking kidding me? Are you motherfucking kidding me? Nobody was flying. It was him throwing the goddamn costume outside of that window. That It still doesn't make sense. Are you... T where did he get it from in, th in the very beginning? That's al also one quest uh, one important thing. Where did he actually say that he got it from? I 
where did he get he didn't say yeah he didn't say that he didn't say where he got the goddamn costume from no way but maybe just maybe <laughs> The fence seems to have hit uh, upon an idea. Well, go on, Mr. Justice. Is he gonna penalize us for suggesting something? Okay, here's what I think. Oh, they were gonna penalize us. Mr. Filch, did you get rid of the costume here? Oh, we're definitely gonna point at the window here. Where did Filch discard his costume? Or discard the costume? Did you toss it out of the window? Because that would certainly explain why it didn't turn up inside the manor. And nobody tried to search for it outside? I mean, it's, if they're on the cliff, I, I'm gonna assume that's gonna be really hard for them to find, but they managed to find the goddamn mask for some reason. You think I tossed it out the window? That costume cost me a pretty penny. Oh, he did buy it. Where did you buy it from? Where did where did you buy it from and who did you buy it, buy it from? So why would I go do something like that? I can think of a few reasons. Any bright ideas, uh, Apollo? Uh... Well, assuming the costume really was tossed out from the window, I mean, we can prove that with the, with the newspaper, the clip. Then the next question would be, what happened to it uh, after that? Three forty p.m. So that happened, yeah. That happened during uh, uh, the murder. Estimated time of death was 3.20. Okay, interesting. And if I'm right, I might have just the thing to prove what happened to the costume. Phineas Felsch. I have just the evidence for you. You do? This evidence proves you got rid of your Tenmataru costume through the window. Uh, it's gonna be the, uh, the news article, right? It's definitely gonna be the news article. Take that! Ah, that's... Tenma Taru flying through the sky? Uh, I am... I'm going to believe that he wasn't the one that threw... ...that, uh... ...costume. Uh, at, at the very least, that, uh... ...that's the thing. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. And just how does that prove Mr. Felch threw his costume out uh, the window? It's quite simple. I mean, we cannot prove that he threw, th threw it outside the window, but that's a costume. That's not Tin Mataru in the photo. It's the costume Mr. Felch uh, threw out. Oh, that's crazy talk. You ain't serious, are you? There's a steep cliff right outside the foyer window, meaning the manor is pretty high up. The costume flew through the air after it was tossed out. That's when the photo was taken. In other words, the photo of Ten Mataro really was a flight of fancy. What? Yikes! Oh my! So, there really never was a yokai. No, <laughs> oh, I can't keep any of them uh, cats back. I can't keep any of them cats bagged. 
Can I still file a claim for uh, for the lost costume? So you did throw it? What? Did you actually throw it? Uh that doesn't make sense because he threw it like wind at 340? This more than proves the defense's position. Jinxi Tenma had nothing to do with the staging, uh, with staging the yokai sighting. Care to raise any objections, uh, Prosecutor Blackwell? None whatsoever. Hmm. I'll deal with that Trixie Tanuki after I've dealt with this case. We... we did it! I don't think so. Good going. Now all we have to do is make Florent LaBelle take the stand. Uh, I thought our trump card here was... ...was this, but it's... it's useless. Because it doesn't have any fingerprints now. Objection. Uh oh. She thinks the sword a bit early, are we not? Huh? Nothing has been proven beyond a doubt. Take this uh, tricksy little tanuki, for instance. How do you suppose he was able to exit the Forbidden Chamber? I mean... I mean, come on, dude. Did you even get an inside? Did you even get inside? I mean, he 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 pre pretty much <laughs> got on top of the uh, the gravestone. Uh, probably the same way he got in through the chamber's air vent. And what of the feathers and tracks uh, at the scene of the crime? They would suggest that the uh, they would suggest that the tanuki exited through the chamber door, not the air vent. Objection! He didn't, and he couldn't. But the Forbidden Chamber doesn't open from the inside. So what you're saying makes no sense. Right? Huh. Someone on the outside opened the door for you, isn't that right? Wait. There is one thing that I kind of forgot about. I don't know if the game is going to forget. I don't I don't think the game is going to forget about it. Jinxie's statement when she saw when she saw the uh Tenmotaro, he was uh, running towards the fox chamber, right? Yeah. He was running through the fox chamber. So that means he, he was actually lying. He's still hiding something. Someone on the outside opened the door for you. Isn't that right? Yep, that's right, Mr. Blackjack. <laughs> the door suddenly sprung right open. What? So he actually witnessed them dead? Sprung right open. Who was on the other side? Didn't get a good look on account of uh, the sudden glare. What? Nah, man, he is lying. Like how the reflect, like how the reflection from my uh, head blinds uh, fellow uh, moviegoers emerged from the dark. What? <laughs> what? What are you babbling about? 
moviegoers. That's when I snatched uh, that staff and made my daring escape. And that, uh, and uh, then that little maid gal spotted me as I hightailed it down the down the hall. So he was, so he was there by chance when the murder happened. So he opened the. That doesn't make any sense. That means the Forbidden Chamber wasn't opened until after the crime was discovered. But wait... We still don't know who opened it. Maybe uh, there really was a third person in the Fox Chamber. I mean... What do you mean, maybe? We do know that there was... A third person there. It's uh, like there is no doubt about that. Well, you little tanuki? When the forbidden chamber opened, did you see the actual, uh, the accused passed out there? Nope. Only one uh, there was the alderman, and he was dead uh, as a doornail. The only person there was the goddamn alderman? Uh... That... Okay, things are getting a little bit... <laughs> Things are getting a little bit uh, complicated here. What the hell? D that definitely uh, still makes the makes it that the. Uh... <laughs> It makes it that uh, Phineas is the number one suspect. Hmm. If the accused wasn't there, what do you suppose he was up to? Uh oh. I don't like where this is going. Doesn't that prove? Th Wait. The number one suspect now is uh, Filch himself. Ah, uh, don't tell me. Plainly. The only one who could have have uh, who uh, could have opened the forbidden chamber was the accused Damien Tenma. Well, I guess actually uh, that makes sense because he w he was the one that uh, that had the, <laughs> the key all this time. <laughs> Ugh. Wait a second. There had to be somebody else besides Mayor Tenma there. Really? And who might that be? Oh well, that would be... It seems our feisty little lass has forgotten the most important thing. Evidence. I didn't forget. I was just... testing your attention to details. <laughs> I like how... Uh... How, like, uh, this is how... How, uh, you know, how uh, you would definitely act as an attorney, uh, first and foremost, but, uh, yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess she's a rookie. Miss Sykes, you can't prove your point without proof of some sort. It's a proven fact. Oh, well, he's about to head over the game. Sorry, I guess I put my foot uh, in my mouth again. Is that an expression? No, Athena. We're definitely uh, we're definitely on to something here. We are. Think about it. If Filch was stuck inside the Forbidden Chamber, 
One of the alibis we heard uh, would no longer uh, uh, hold any water. Uh, this is what I actually mentioned before. If he, uh, if he was, uh, like, uh, the idea that LaBelle was with, uh, was uh, with, uh, uh, stupid ass, uh, uh, Phineas all the time, and that means he actually lied. He actually lied. The defense would like to call a new witness to the stand. Well, I guess that was one way of us bringing uh, LaBelle to the, sta uh, to the, to the stand, uh, which worked for us. Someone who knew Mr. Felsch was stuck in the Forbidden Chamber. And by virtue of knowing this, has an alibi that no longer adds up. Ah, not that insufferable. <laughs> Nobody likes uh, LaBelle. Very well. The court will hear out... Uh, the, the court will hear what Mr. Justice has to say. Whose alibi no longer adds up? Well, this is the moment, viewers. This is the moment. We're finally gonna get uh, LaBelle. Why, that's... That's the defendant's aide, Florent LaBelle. Did he claim to be in the foyer at the time of the crime? He did. True, but in his alibi, he also claimed Mr. Felsch was in the foyer, too. And that's the idea here. However, as we all know now, Mr. Felsch was not there with Mr. LaBelle at the time. I mean, not only that, uh, like, doesn't uh, show that his alibi doesn't hold up, he also, it also shows that he uh, pretty much lied. Like, you cannot ma make a mistake like that, he pretty much lied. So yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty much a suspect now. In short, Mr. LaBelle's alibi has disappeared. Why is he, why is he surprised though? Why is he surprised? And whatever. Laurent LaBelle's alibi was one big lie. That's uh, the, mo uh, the most important thing, that it actually was a lie. Isn't that right, Mr. Filch? I reckon there t ain't no keeping that cat in the bag here, n uh, neither. It was all Mr. LaBelle's idea. He told me he'd button his lip about uh, me breaking into the Forbidden Chamber. And in return, he said we'd uh, vouch for each other's alibi. Damn. Shame on you, Mr. Filch. Perjury is a serious crime, you know. Oh, shucks. Mercy, your, uh, your honorship. Mercy! Ah! <laughs> he unleashed the bird. I also assert that the person who opened the Forbidden Chamber for Mr. Felsch was none other than uh, Florent LaBelle. Yeah, uh, uh, by the way, viewers, like, uh, it's been, uh, it's been almost three weeks from the last recording session, by the way. I don't know if you guys can notice that or not. Uh, uh, I'm, I have some info here. Uh, some of the info here might be a little bit vague. Like, uh, a good thing about recording these sessions is that I can actually go back to the previous session and just, you know, skim through to get some of the information that I got. But some of them are still, like, uh, can be, it might, it might be a little bit, a little bit vague. So I might be a little bit redundant in that fact. Uh, uh, I've been a little bit busy, you know, like, uh, to summarize, I've been a little, a little bit busy, but every time that I actually have time to play... Video games. I am. I've actually concentrated on trying to finish up uh, the Xenosaga 3 playthrough, and yes, I finished it. Uh, uh, I'm gonna assume that uh, the Xenosaga 3 playthrough is gonna be up uh, way, way before this game is gonna be up. So, <laughs> so I guess yeah, I was playing this game along with uh, Xenosaga 3 viewers.
After all, his alibi has just uh, been proven to be a complete fabrication. I see. We'll take a 20 minute recess. After which time we will see what Mr. LaBelle has to say for himself. Yes! We're finally going to drag that slippery snake onto the stand. Slippery snake? Hmm. What's the Blackwell's up to? In the meantime, the, prosecu uh, the prosecution will question Mr. LaBelle about these new allegations. Shouldn't we uh, bring him in here first? Before questioning him? April 19, 1025 AM, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. We did it, Apollo. Uh, uh, sure, we still need to <laughs> actually, you know, uh, win the uh, goddamn case by proving that uh, Damien isn't guilty. But, uh, well, I guess that's, uh, that's a huge step, I guess. We finally dragged Mr. LaBelle into court. Yeah. Hey, why the long face? Says you. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, she's, uh, she's, you know... She's easy on the eyes, I guess. I can't help but uh, feel I'm missing something important. Plus, Prosecutor Blackwell's uh, bound to mount a counterattack. You really are a worrywart, aren't you? It'll be fine. In the famous last words. That mystery figure who opened the forbidden chamber for Mr. Filch had to have been Florent LaBelle. I know, but that's not what's bugging me. I wish I could put my finger on it, though. Was it the fact that this doesn't have, uh... LaBelle's fingerprint on it? Wasn't this the fact? What? Was it this one or this one? I think it's this one. It is this one. So, hmm. I don't know, is that it? I really don't know. At any rate, the big showdown with Mr. LaBelle is up next. So, chin up, Apollo. Don't get angry at me, hold on. I'm gonna do my best. 